Hi Aries, welcome to your reading and this is for Aries Ascendant. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus placement in their charts. Jupiter may resonate with the reading. Cross watchers are always welcome. Cross watchers, if I described someone and you know that it is not you, it is not you. Just because you are connecting with Aries, you're going to assume that whom I'm describing here is you. Please don't. This is not a personal reading. For those of you who's new to the channel, welcome. You might want to consider subscribing. For I am always hosting a party online wherein I am doing a live streaming. And in the live stream, you can ask me questions. If you miss the live streaming, you can still ask me questions. There is a link in the description box. Click that link. You'll be routed to my page. Type in your questions and then click submit. So Aries, if you are into twin flame readings, almost personal readings, pick a card and channel messages. Please subscribe to the other channel, Timeless Tarot 111. And you may resonate with the entire reading. You may resonate with some bits and pieces of the reading. Take it as you will. Take what only resonates. Aries, I would gladly appreciate if you can click the subscribe button. And smash the like button so that the video can ride onto the YouTube alg algorithm. Um, Aries, let's begin. So Aries, your first card oh whatever it is that you're thinking that you're planning especially if it's kind of negative it is actually the opposite of what's happening that is true um the anxiety these let's say confusions questions that has no answers felt like leading you to something that is not going to happen i mean the negative okay um it's because you don't have the answer okay most you know humans are if, if they do not have the answer they try to make sense of it and that's okay but sometimes you know um making sense of things espe especially when it comes to spirituality doesn't always have to be that way um that's why okay it may be triggering right um that's why religions right um I'm not saying that every religion, or I mean, a certain religion is bad. Um, again, we're not talking about the specifics here. But as you can see, you know, um, we human are let's say praying, praising um, the God. But because of the names that we identify the God, the higher being, the universe, you know, the consciousness, the supreme being that leads us because we have to make sense of it, that leads wars, right? Um, I think we're going too far. But what I'm trying to say here is why not trust, trust the god itself you know do their divine works instead of sometimes us um trying to make sense of things sometimes lead us to regret um leads us to you know um this certain box you know um bible per se there's a lot of things in the bible that was also again i am not tr trash talking a specific religion right um but you know that it was already revised who knows who revised it who knows the hundred percent was all written there 
right? Um, and we are being, it's not just the Bible, you know, it could be the Quran, what have you. Um, we're being kind of intact or being closed to a specific um, thinking that we can't even accept the fact now that there is a divine timing that's working, kind of like that. I know that you catch the drift. See, um, and this is specific event that's happening in you. You already have this closed, uh, you're, you're kind of like in a box, you put yourself in an isolation. Uh, and again, regret is here. Five of Cups, right? Regrets. Uh, so, which means that what you are thinking, especially the negative things, are not really going to happen. Um, in fact, your person is missing you. So, there, there was a separation here. If you're thinking that your person is not going to return, if your person doesn't love you, if your person... Um, let's say, doing something behind your back. You know, there is, it's much better if we can ask the person, but if you don't, especially if you don't have, you know, connection anymore or no communication, right, no contact, then it is. Um, you are the person who's kind of like thinking um, negative things now. But just so you know, like what I mentioned here, the moon and the sun, right? Total polarity. Which means that you are thinking here is not really what's going to happen. In fact, your person wanted to speak with you and missing you already. Uh, separations can be physical or energetic. Physical, your person might be in a different city, state, county, country, different continent, or long distance connection. Or let's say that there are gaps, mm. yeah, communication problem, no contact. So things are happening in a most unexpected way. It could be a hard work for your person to identify the connection per se. Um, but in a good way, right? Identifying that they loved you, that... See, um, from the point when, let's say, you were still in the connection, during the um, span that you're still together, your person's attention was with something or someone else, let's say. Um, but because of the separation, it changed right off the bat. I can see here that your person is slowly, uh, how can I say this? It's slowly removing all of those um, prides. Uh, they're lowering their grounds. It's a hard work for them um, also, you know, to to do this, but they're doing it because they want some clarity as well. Um, they may not have the clarity when they are with you, but they're getting the clarity during the separation. Um, yeah, there is a return here, you know, with the chariot and again, um, King of Wands is a repeat card, so which means that there will be a communication that's going to happen. King and Queen of Wands is here. So more or less that you have a soul bond with the person, soulmate, kindred spirit, soul family, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I can sense here they have some problem on how they can express their emotions now or what they're thinking or intentions in this connection. It is because there's still some pride here. But sooner or later, I can see that your person is going to totally accept that they also have, um, let's say, that they, they have some parts, you know, um, or contribution for putting the connection in jeopardy. Um, 
yeah, communication is going to happen. Communication is going to be fast here. Um, more of, let's say, it will be just hi, hello at first, you know, um, a simple, how are you? Mm. This communication is not going to happen face to face though, but at least there will be some communication. I think that your person is ready now um, to accept, again, their fault. Um, but, you know, it, it, it takes two to tango. Flexibility is here. You must also, because this is a brutally honest communication that's going to happen. They're going to accept. What I can strongly suggest is for you also to accept if there is, you know, a fault in you because I can see your fights if in case that you know kind of like because they are going to humble themselves so they're ex expecting you know the same level um, coming from you if you don't have um, any fault at least forgiveness you know will be expected because if there will be some blaming games here I can see here more fights um, if not, then I can see here, you know, if, if you're going to meet halfway, I can sense that there is a higher chance that this connection is going to um, continue. This eight of swords keeps on repeating. So probably you have already an idea or probably you already um, placed a conclusion, a hypothesis, why this connection separated. But again, the universe is telling us it's not what it seems to be. I think that they are already on their way. You know, your person is going to accept no as an answer here. If they return, they want to return because they wanted to connect with you. Um, I can see here that your person's going to reciprocate now, you know, going to invest in the connection. Uh, probably this is what you wanted. But I hope forgiveness in a more loving way is going to happen. And I hope that there will be no, no more discussions of who's who. Much better to accept the person already accepted that they have done wrong or they did you wrong they apologize apology will be given you know um do not rub into their faces if you are in this situation aries and you have some questions there is a link in the description box um, if you want to book a personal reading with me there's also a link in the description box and I hope that you can click the subscribe button, smash a zit like button, comment down below. And thank you so much, um, Aries. Love and light to you. Namaste. See you on the next reading. Goodbye.